Hello, good morning. My name is Bruce. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking us out this morning. I'm sitting here trying to get going this morning. Figured I'd do a quick video on some cards that I have picked up from some various places and actually getting these a little confused where I got them all. I was really trying to keep them organized. I have to I have to remember this set actually, but I'm um, just drinking some coffee. Hopefully you guys are off to a good start today. Uh, again, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get going on the video. Um, today we are working with this top set from 1978. It's not a complete set. Um, I went through <clears throat> the whole set um, just to give you kind of a story on everything. And if you've looked at some of my other videos, I know I don't know anything about cards per se. I've just been kind of learning things over the last few months. Um, but it was funny. I looked at some cards I that I identified about a year ago and... Uh, compared them to how I was looking at things now and it was kind of funny because the stuff I picked out a year ago was pretty much garbage um, but now I think I'm getting a little more of a hang on it, hang of it um, I'm looking uh, just kind of looking at the cards going through them going through the eBay completed listings with bids only I'm not doing anything that has to do with sales and I'm looking at the highest prices on these uh, sales and then what I'll do is I'll analyze the cards later and see what exactly they might be worth put them under a, a magnifying glass really take a good look at them make sure they're centered see I'm I'm learning stuff um, and then I'll determine if it's something that I want to get graded or don't want to get graded <clears throat> but um, I've only let me see here I think we've had Let's see, I had a recent collection that I picked up about three months ago. That was, well, I, okay, let's, I have, I have a more recent collection I picked up about a month ago. And you guys, I think I got 1,600 views on that video. Um, I paid 300 bucks for that collection. It's actually a good collection in very good shape, I feel, um, I did, I think I did two videos on that, so that's one major purchase. I've, I've not really done a lot of purchasing or collecting of any sort on cards. They've just kind of either accumulated somehow or or I happened to buy them when, when I felt like it, just from running into people. So that was the most recent one. The one prior to that was about three months ago. Um, I live way out in the country and, uh, this, um, guy's mom passed away that, uh, she was an older lady, uh, old farmhouse and I had been really dealing with her a lot and I knew there was some cards in the barn and tried to pick those up for about two years and nobody ever wanted to deal with me on that, but I was able to pick a bunch of antiques out of that barn and then when she passed away her son decided to let me purchase the entire contents of the barn which is what I wanted so I paid um, I paid a good chunk of money for that because it was like a four-car garage two-story barn type thing and um, and then I made a separate purchase of some antiques and cards inside of the house so that's what I'm kind of going through, and he used to collect those. He's about 48, 45 right now, if I had to guess, and he used to collect those when he was younger, so I've been going through all of those. I think he used to try and buy and sell them, <clears throat> judging by the cards and how, they're, how they were kept, and this, um, he got price tags on them, so he was trying to sell them. But anyway, I th let's see, so that's number two. Um, and then really only, let's see, I had 
A friend of mine gave me a whole bunch that was given to him. They were going to be thrown out. So that's number three. And number four, I did a small moving job. And I traded, I think for about three boxes of cards, I traded this guy, the moving services for, and I'm, when I say boxes, I mean like little boxes. Um, like that only hold whatever, just, just like just like these type of cards, but they were older cards and the moving job only took two hours, so it wasn't really a big deal. And I think I paid 350 for that one, um, maybe 300 bucks. And again, didn't know anything about it, just took a guess. And then I had another moving job that I did, and that, I think I had about $250 altogether wrapped up in that job. As far as my costs go, but I think the whole job was going to come to, I don't know, just trying to remember, maybe 1200 bucks or 1100 But again, my costs involved were only like 240 So I think I think I did just a, an even exchange or maybe he paid me 600 and we bargained on the remaining 600 something like that. But... Uh, other than that, that's really it. I've picked up some stuff over the last 10, 15, 20 years, maybe even longer. Nothing significant, but that's really all that I can remember that I've picked up. Um, and I, I think there's actually one more. But anyway, long story short, six, seven minutes of talking that's kind of a quick rundown i can't remember where this came from i'm gonna have to really remember but anyway this is a set of 1978 cards that was in one of these collections and i just started going through them the other day and wanted to share these with you so <clears throat> again i just wrote down the highest values and then i will go back through and look at all of these again so here we go. They're not in bad shape. So we've got a Bruce Sutter, and I'll, I'm, I'm only going to go through this stack here because these are the ones I picked out that were significant value. I started all the way at the top of the money chain and worked my way down, I think, to about 80 bucks as far as looking up cards. Carlton Fisk. <clears throat> And let's see here, Sparky Anderson. There's another Carlton Fisk. And I'm going to put these in top holders. I'll sleeve all of these just to preserve them. So the pricing, again, I'm going off of eBay pricing, looking at bids only. And in order for the card to qualify at the pricing I put on it, it has to be at least two bids or more. One bid does not count, and I do not look at buy it nows. I collect comic books, and that's how I look at my comic books. So I figured I'd do the same thing here. I know cards are a lot harder to grade, like this one here, because of the centering issue, is going to be more of a problem. But I thought I heard somewhere that older cards had a little forgiveness factor in them. You guys can let me know. Because, see, here's two of them identical to each other as far as the spacing. So is that how all of those were made? You guys can comment below and let me know. So that one's got a little ding up there. You can see really the way 
I'm kind of approaching all this, even though I'm looking these up as PSA 10s. I'm, I'm just really... So, like, if this card is valued at 338 I'm just going to automatically assume maybe it's only worth, like, 33 bucks. That's how I'm kind of looking at it. And maybe it's only worth $5. I don't know. But if, if it looks really good and I inspect it really good, then I would be tempted to send it in. A lot of these look like they're off-centered. That looks like a pretty good one as far as centering goes. Um, just initial inspection looks pretty clean. I'd have to clean these first. How do you guys look at your cards when you're grading them? Um, most of you appear to be experts in the field that have commented and subscribed. I've got a bunch of this guy from some other collections. <clears throat> I just looked most of these up within about the last week. So today, this is the middle of March 2024. Yep, I better hurry. Battery's dying. Going dead. That is like the biggest problem with doing these. Hold on. Really? Let me adjust my screen. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. <laughs> All right, we better hurry. Probably got like 5 or 10% left. So there were a few... I'm trying to think. I think Reggie Jackson... <clears throat> was in this set, uh, not this particular set, but in this year of cards, if I recall, while looking these up. And I know that's a, a big card if you can get it in good condition. I was able to find about, I think, three or four of those in this guy's collection. I, if it's the same guy. I wish I could remember. I, like I said, I was trying to keep all these collections um, organized because I really wanted to just see how good I did on these. So that's it for that. Um, do I want to, let me see here, I'll just go ahead and try to show you these real quick, I guess, since they're right behind me, um, these are the ones that, and eventually what I'll do, I guess, is I'll, I don't know, 
I'll, I'll mix them all together once I get them organized. I might put a little note on the back where they came from just because that's how that's how I am. I like to know where my stuff came from. Yeah, of course I can't find them. Let's look for a few more seconds. Hold on. <clears throat> to go through because I have them top loaded and I put them all together too of course I can't find them okay So, big sneak peek here. I was going to save this for another video. Like I said, I don't know if this came from the same guy's collection. This is, this is definitely from the barn, uh, though. All of these. So, there's one. And it's got a bend up there, so that's an automatic no-go on a 10. Here we've got another one, and you can instantly tell it's off-centered, and looks like there's a bend up there. So that's out. And this one's very off-centered, and it's got a bend up there, bend there. So those are all out for 10s. I don't know what those would be worth. When I looked up, these are the values. I wish I had that PSA 10, but would these be considered PSA 8s at 66? I don't know, or would it be better to sell it raw? If I'm not, I'm not selling these, just to let you know. I'm actually keeping these just for value sake uh, kind of like an investment but there's those so anyway thanks for checking me out today appreciate it hope you guys have a great day today and uh, don't forget once again like and subscribe and hit the notification bell appreciate all the comments and the positive uh, comments from pretty much all of you and um, all the uh, advice it's been greatly appreciated uh, you guys are helping me learn stuff and figure out how to do this so have a great day take care